In these lectures, we're going to show how to create equations using global variables. So first we're going to create global variables and then we're going to create equations and then we're going to use those global variables and equations on the sketch. So let's go here to the tools and here we have equations. Let's click here. And now we have this dialog box. First, let's define some global variables. Let's go with A and let's put a value for A, 50 millimeters. Just hit enter. Let's go with B, enter. Let's go with 40 millimeters, enter. Now let's go with C, enter. Now let's go with quote. Let's go A, quote, and let's divide by two plus three. Hit enter. And here we can see the value. So A divided by two plus three is 28. So C will be 28. And this is our equation here. Now let's go with D. Hit enter. And this is going to be quote A quote minus B quote plus 15. Hit enter. And this is 25. Now let's click OK. Now let's go here to our folder equations. And here we can see our global variables A, B, C, and D. Now let's go to the sketch. Let's create a sketch on the front plane. Now let's go here to the line. Let's create some sketch. Something like this. And now let's go here to the smart dimension. Let's make this dimension like this. And now let's go equal. Now let's go to global variables. And here we can choose global variable A, B, C, or D. Let's go with A and let's hit enter. And now here we can see the sign of the global variable. Let's click OK. And here is the symbol of our global variable A. Now let's make dimension of this line. Let's go equal, global variable, and let's go with C. Let's click OK. Now let's go to this dimension. Let's go with equal, global variable, and let's go with D, like this, and OK. And now let's put here the last dimension. Let's go equal, and let's go with B, and OK. And now our sketch is fully defined. And we can see the symbol of the equation here. And now if we want to change our global variables, we can go here to equation folder, right click, manage equations, and we can change A, for example, to 60. We can change B to 35. We can even change the equation here. Let's go plus five. And let's go minus five and hit enter. So now we changed our global variables and equations. Let's click OK. And you can see that they're automatically changed here. Let's go to the sketch. And we can see here is 60, 35, 20, and 35. Now let's go to the features. And let's extrude the sketch. Extrude boss base. So here we have a depth. And by the default, we have a depth A. We can change this, for example, to 20, 30, or some other value as well, and we can choose a global variable for depth. Let's go with A. Let's click OK. And now we can see here the sign of the global variable, and now we have a depth 60 millimeters. Now if we go to equations, manage equations, and we change the depth, for example, to 100 millimeters. Let's click OK. Those changes are automatically applied to our sketch and model. So this is how you can define global variables and equations in SOLIDWORKS, how you can modify them, and how you can apply them to the models and sketches.